Again and again, I've seen tragedy hit Haiti, hurricanes, floods, um, and now this dreadful earthquake. People I've known have been killed. Schools that I was responsible for building have been demolished. Um, all kinds of uh, suffering has ensued. It just uh, eats away at my heart to just see all of this and to talk to some of the people who've been afflicted by it. My first impressions about the damage caused by the earthquake was uh, of utter disbelief. I, I had uh, read about it, I had heard about it, uh, and even seen pictures on television. But when you see it for yourself, live, with your very own eyes, the damage is unbelievable. Uh, and to see the buildings scarred, it's like vomit, um, that, that some giant, some uh, um, galaxy giant has just spewed out over the streets of Port-au-Prince. Well, I can't tell you how much that hurts me, it's just dreadful. The damage caused by the earthquake was devastating, even solid structures, well-built structures, like the presidential palace just over my shoulder here, were destroyed. So you can imagine other dwellings, other homes, simple homes in and around this area were totally destroyed and uh, people are living in very miserable conditions. Well, we're on the edge of a, of a vast camp. A, a year after the earthquake, this camp still exists, and Islamic Relief has a responsibility for a part of this huge encampment, and it's the Akrano camp. And uh, it's just astonishing to think that uh, a year in, um, this place still has this element of need. That... The 13th of January, the day after the earthquake, he's been here. And who can him He's, uh, this little girl, Saika's mother, has been here since the 13th of January also. We've just learned that this little baby, Marlene, was actually born in this very tent here. And this is uh, uh, something that is unacceptable. Uh, we, none of us would want to have any of our babies born in, this, in these conditions. Uh, but sadly, for this family, who lost everything they had in the earthquake, uh, the mom had to give birth here in this uh, very unhygienic, very unhealthy place. Well, what we've just heard from, from Franky and Jano and others is that, uh, um, that uh, people one year after the earthquake are still living in tents, and tents are just not comfortable places to be. And after a year, they begin to tear and, uh, and let the elements in, and people lose their privacy. Tents, at the end of the day, are not what people want at all. It's proper, more solid uh, constructions and more shelters is what they want. And I'm delighted that Islamic Relief clearly has a relationship with the local authorities who alone can authorize the building of these uh, more solid structures. I believe Islamic Relief is to be commended uh, with regards to their efforts in responding to the cholera outbreak. <laughs> so here we are in a very simple bathing facility. People come in with their bucket and they use it to bath themselves. The key thing is the water runs away through proper channeling. Yeah. And secondly, there is privacy whilst people attend to their bodily needs. Um, I'm very glad to have taken my morning um, trip to the bathroom with my Muslim friend, Ibrahim. An extremely brave effort has been made to provide something approaching decent hygiene for the people in the camps. And uh, Islamic Relief have got an engineer whose planning has been fantastic. The, the great thing about the work I'm learning about in this camp is that uh, Islamic Relief has chosen as a matter of policy, wherever possible, to use Haitian skills. This is a very impressive range of um, locally trained people with really good skills for doing this kind of work. I mean, we've, we've met several people, we've seen several families here, we've looked at the conditions of the tents and all that. 
it's yes, it's unacceptable, but this is this is all they have, and it is through your generosity that they have been able to have access and uh, this kind of uh, uh, these kind of facilities. There is more that we can do, and we 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 are sure that we will do more uh, to get them out of these very difficult conditions into more comfortable conditions. The rain falling, it just breaks your heart. It breaks your heart. These people were put into tents for three months. Um, they're in those tents a year later. Now, people back home simply have to realize that if they thought the problem was solved a year ago by the generosity that came from the immediacy after the earthquake, it hasn't been solved at all, and there's just so much more to do. People must go on being generous. These people are lovely, lovely people, and they deserve only the best. God help us all to help them.